Does anybody remember the movie Flushed Away? You know, that movie about a rat that gets flushed down a toilet and discovers a secret underground city. I loved that movie when I was a kid, and I still have a soft spot for it. In fact, it is my favorite DreamWorks and Aardman movie. Even though it was a classic, I will never forget that one changed scene. I was on a holiday in Rockhampton. I told my mom and her friend I will have a look in Sanity. I looked for a Pokemon XY DVD, but to no avail, there weren't any. I looked through the regular kids DVDs, and when I looked in the F lineup, I found a CD case. When I picked it up, it was a flushed away DVD with a deleted draft of one of the scenes. I went up to the woman at the counter and placed it on the table to remind her I will get my wallet from my mom. I found her and asked for my wallet. She gave it to me and went back to sanity. The woman said the DVD was only $13, and I got my cash out and I paid for it. Days later, I came back from Rockhampton. Home sweet home. I decided to test out the new DVD I discovered at Sanity. I inserted it in my portable DVD player. The DVD opened with the DreamWorks Home Entertainment logo, then it took me to the menu. The DVD menu consisted of the main characters racing on beaters, while the music was where Roddy finds himself in Ratropolis. There was only one menu button, and it was, play deleted scene. I was disappointed that there was one button, but I thought I would watch it. I pressed play and right before the deleted scene started, a warning came up. This deleted scene of Flushed Away has been changed and almost ruined Ardman's reputation. DreamWorks had to change a couple of things in this scene to make it less disturbing. In fact, the following deleted scene you are about to see is not suitable for children. Viewer discretion is advised. I thought that was really weird. I've seen disturbing deleted drafts of Pixar movies, and now I am seeing a deleted draft of a DreamWorks movie. However, I decided to see what it looked like anyway. The scene started with Roddy sleeping in his cage. Just then, he heard something rattling or a banging sound from the kitchen. This woke up Roddy. What was that? Roddy asked himself in fear. When it showed a shot of the entirety of his cage, faint sinister laughter can be heard. Roddy asked again. Who's there? Roddy then got out and went to one of his doll friends, which is a soldier doll. Wake up, I think there's someone in the house. The doll didn't respond or move, as it was inanimate. Roddy then came into the kitchen, wearing a Viking's helmet and with the soldier doll. The soldier doll then kept talking through its voice box. Roddy tried to shut it up, but later pulled its battery out. Roddy then got up onto the kitchen bench, shining his torch all over the kitchen. Suddenly, he heard rumbling and rattling from the kitchen sink. He watched in horror as if it was going to be a human head popping out. Just then, a mysterious, chunky figure emerged, flying out of the sink shouting. <coughs> and disappeared into nowhere. Instead of sewer water, there was red water, as if it were blood. After seeing that mysterious figure, Roddy looked around again. He later heard sinister laughter, echoing through the house. Roddy got more nervous he then hid behind a cereal box. When he shone his torch on the box, there was a picture depicting of a monster covered in chocolate. Roddy let out a gasp, but then sighed in relief when he realized it was only a picture. Roddy then went to pick up his torch. As that happened, oh god, where do I start? Two arms then poked out of a cake. It wasn't chocolate, it was more of a red velvet one instead. The cake figure then started walking towards Roddy, as the latter struggled to fix his torch. The music had a much more ominous and horror-like feel as the figure started walking towards Roddy. The red velvet cake around the figure made this scene much more unnerving. Once the head of the figure fell off, Roddy heard this. Once he turned around, he screamed. However, his scream wasn't very cartoon sounding, it sounded much more realistic as if his actor, Hugh Jackman, sounded really scared. The red velvet cake monster suddenly let out a long belch in Roddy's face, and the crumbs started to fly off and onto Roddy, revealing to actually be Sid, one of the characters from the movie. The belch was so powerful it knocked Roddy backwards behind a plate of sausages, with the red velvet crumbs still on him. After the long belch, Sid then ate a crumb that was stuck on his hand. He said his line from the final film. They do not, repeat not, have food like this in a sewer. Roddy then noticed the red velvet crumbs on his tuxedo. He started hyperventilating staring at it. Is, is that a... Roddy asked in horror. No mate, that's just red velvet cake. It looked like flesh, but it's actually edible. 
Sid replied. Roddy sighed in relief again. By the way, I'm a sewer rat. Sid remarked. A sewer rat? Roddy asked. He stuttered, trying to say something. How did you get there? It then showed a final shot from the film with Sid putting his arm around Roddy, holding a fish. The deleted scene then ended once Sid finished telling Roddy how he got into his house. I got scared and confused at the same time. What was DreamWorks or Ardman even thinking while making this? I thought of uploading this to YouTube, since it had no realistic blood, and just red velvet cake crumbs. After posting it to YouTube, I got a lot of views, even comments from people who were familiar with Flushed Away. Even though it wasn't too scary, I locked the DVD somewhere so nobody could find it. When my mom asked what I did with the DVD, I showed her the footage and she was freaked out. DreamWorks makes great movies now and then, but you never know what deleted scenes they have up their sleeves. I never ate red velvet cake ever again after seeing what I saw. Please stay away from lost DVDs with deleted scenes.